old f arms back. Oh, sorry, I was just reading Friends on Rom's Facebook page because I'm old as f and still use this platform. Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, Chili here from 5 Minute Reviews. And on this episode we're going over Friends or Rom's newest album, Cup of Pestilence. Don't forget we also do live streams on Fridays, so check that out. If MySpace was still around, some of the songs from this album would probably be on my top 7 tracks. So Australia's answer to no effects have just released their 10th album and it's about bloody time. But seriously, it's great to hear Friends of Rom back at it with another record and despite the band growing old, they are still a while away from growing up. The humour found on earlier albums such as Dick Sandwich or Forever Malcolm Young has not been lost on these lads. It has merely evolved at a slow level over the 20 plus years like a fungus or something out of, I don't know, The Last of Us. <laughs> When you have an opening track called Where Drug Dealers Take Their Kids whipped into a furious two minute track, you know they aren't here to fuck spiders. I'm glad to hear that the calls of cancellation never eventuated and have left the band unaffected, but this is a band that I'm sure that would still do their own thing regardless. Like I was saying before, their first few songs from this album would cause anyone to fail a try not to headbang challenge, even if you just had neck surgery to hold up your long dreads. There are also a few other tracks that I'd like to mention, like Finally I Can Get Arrested in This Town, I Think My Neighbor Is Trying to Kill Me, and Instant Coffee that are really solid pieces. Really, this whole album is just full of solid material with only a few songs that I would skip, like I don't know, Dead Man's Underpants or maybe Old Mate Neck Tattoo. I guess you get that on an album with 19 tracks, but as Per the Friends of Rom standard, most of these songs are less than two minutes. Hell, not even that long. Some are just one minute long. As someone once said, keep it simple, stupid. And these songs are pretty damn simple. Friends of Rom play the music that they like to play, and the fans, I'm sure, will enjoy what they're hearing. I mean, when you're looking at it, this whole album is pretty accessible, ignoring most of the subject matter. It's filled with amazing riffs and great hooks that are full of energy, and of course, it's amazing to think this is coming from a band that's been around for some 30 odd years. Also, it's probably their most well produced album I've heard from. From them. There are a few downsides on here though, and the first is that while I can say the songs are good, I wouldn't call them great. Usually their records can have a couple of tracks that really stand out as anthemic tunes like on previous efforts with Contact, I'm Stacking Shelves While Shelving Stacks, Bird Attack, and so on. While this album contains songs that definitely stand taller than the rest, for example the opening track that I've mentioned, I couldn't recall being blown away by many of the other tracks. Another negative is that Jay's voice is sounding rather worn down, which is natural over time, but it's like he recorded some of these tracks while he had COVID. This is especially present on the song Instant Coffee, I feel. At times, the Aussie twang is really thick and would limit it to the international side of things, but I don't think they would care too much. Another point on production is the bass seems to be really lost in the mix at times. I felt it was rather difficult to listen to the bass lines at times, and I didn't really hear a wow factor on most of the songs, with exception to The Wreckage. I know the band have a new bass player with Dal Falia joining them in 2019, but I hope his presence as the new kid didn't squander any potential he has. Fuck, I miss those dug -bow, bow lines. These may seem like moot points to some, but I hope hearing me gripe about these points makes some sense. After all, I only want the best for this band that I love. Now I don't recall who said this, but they referred to this album as their musically heaviest ever done, and I wouldn't agree with this sentiment. The production is solid, akin to high vis high T, but it's not any heavier per se. Regardless, I guess, of the negative points that I've raised earlier, I did enjoy this record numerous times when I listened to it. Overall, I will score this album at 6 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Where Drug Dealers Take Their Kids, The Wreckage, I Think My Neighbour Is Planning To Kill Me, and Those People. I guarantee I'll come to appreciate this album more over time, but its flaws feel prominent after each playthrough. When I first heard Smoko at the Pet Food Factory, I loved it. Similar with High Viz High Tea, but while this record has been enjoyable, I wouldn't say that I have a penchant for it yet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and share it with some people you know who love Friends or Rom. Also, if you would like to subscribe to us, that would be muchly appreciated, and we have new videos out every week. So, I hope you have a great day, and make sure to stay spicy out there. 
thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listen Erased. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listen Erased, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.